Hello everybody, welcome to game number 19. After conceding like a dickhead, now have Dark Elves with a wizard. One tackler, it's Spartaco, brilliant. Spartaco with a wizard. Oh, they, he might he won't, might not have a wizard then, because he's got a journeyman. So hopefully he won't buy a wizard. But obviously if he... He should get a wizard, but hopefully he won't. Fucking Spartaco. Yeah, of course he does. Well, if he didn't have a wizard, I'd, I think I'd be favourite with a TV advantage. But uh, I think that makes him the... Uh, I think that makes him the favourite now because he's only 100 TV down, isn't he? That's the thing. So now he's 50 TV up with a wizard and he's Spartaco. He knows what he's doing. Got fucked by Christopher Devil's Eye. No. We've got another jelly up. <laughs> That's true, Orelensis, but I'd still rather play. <laughs> it mostly doesn't work, though, you know? So I'd, I'd rather not be playing. Well, I, could, I would rather be... Okay, so as something to do, I'd rather be playing Spartaco. For sure. You know, like, as a contest. Um, yes, I'd rather be playing Spartaco. But, as a... As a, I want to qualify for Champs Ladder Finals, I'd rather not be playing Spartaco. <laughs> so, there is that. So this is the anti strength three frenzy setup, isn't it? Which hopefully hopefully works a treat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll I'll answer Devil's Eye. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah, World Cup. Yeah, he was played great in the World Cup, I thought. So Yeah, but he's got the wizard though, hasn't he? He's Dark Elves with a wizard. 
So, like, if I was 100 TV down against Dark Elves and had a wizard, it's not as good as Dark Elves being 100 TV down with a wizard, is it? Like, you know, he's got a team to take advantage of the wizard, is what I try to say in the most retarded way possible. <laughs> um... Down players, of course. Yeah, maybe they should have had the better warriors at the back. Yeah, but this is it, you know, as you go higher TV, you play better coaches, don't you, you know? Pretty much, because all the shit is stay low TV, basically. No, yeah, maybe I should have quit, the plus two thing is bugged, yeah. Does look like he's gone for the early turnover score, doesn't he? <sighs> Not getting to blitz though, which is good, isn't it? Like that is the advantage of this setup. Is he doesn't really get to blitz. Claw mighty blow. And splits a rookie. Could hit him, but then I'll have to dodge away. Not worth it, is it? Put him back a bit. That was pretty good advice, I think. <laughs> Classic. Seems okay. He can probably surf this Chaos Warrior, can't he, this turn? In fact, definitely can surf this Chaos Warrior. Oh, well, fuck it. Not to the chaffs. And the funny thing is, obviously, I took block for the 75% knockdowns. Hit people without block, don't knock them over, so piling on would have been just as ineffective. Is he 
going to score that's the question He's gone for the handoff, he might do. <coughs> Slam into him this turn and see what happens. Yeah, tackle bits the wish for some pushes, yeah. Yeah, or he, may, he might as well expose everybody now once he's exposing them, isn't it? That's the thing. If you're going to expose one, you might expose, might as well expose all. I fucking hate elves. We should have nuked Rivendell and all would be right in the world. <laughs> UNSK, 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 UNSK. <laughs> oh, dear. No, I'm just gonna slam in. Oh, GFI required. Would really like to claw mighty blow that guy, but I guess. Hitting the uh, hitting the tackle, the mighty blow, which is fine, isn't it? Yep, hit her for pushes. Seems like a good shout. Really slamming in, am I? <laughs> so he'll score turn five. Oh, the riot as well. Shit. Yeah, it was a great record until I lost. Thanks for the bits on Narnia. I'd go double wrestle. I think double wrestle is a lot more. It's a lot more uh, desirable in, in you know, NAF style than it is in progression. Yeah, I should have tried the one turn, I guess. Jimmy, at what point do you hurt her? 
I would have herped up that turn. I wanted to herp up that turn, but just didn't. Thanks, Tony. Yeah, I would have herped up then. Hoop dope, base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm armory. Mur, mur, mur. Hoop dope, base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm armory. Hoop dope, base. Might have to score now after committing his whole team to make a two dice block. Yep. Four turns, five turns, with three re-rolls is possible. He does have two agility five guys and a wizard, though. So, he's probably more likely to score than I am. No, he is good, Stotty. He is good. He's he's former number one rated player in the world. <laughs> so um, yeah, he is. He is pretty much certainly, pretty much certainly the best coach I have ever played on Blood Bowl Two. So, so there is that. That seems typical, doesn't it? Right, so I can get the ball to here. And can block with these two and him and get two guys over here. Let's go for the blitz first anyway. Holy shit, powered somebody.
Let's get warriors in his best, isn't it? I wanted to maybe foul that guy, but I guess that's not really possible. I guess it does, yeah, so far to do. He got an extra one C on RD, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's just elf screening. Because <laughs> it's going to be hard to break through the elf screen and protect the ball in four turns, isn't it? And protect against getting frenzied. I might just fireball and get it now. I mean, you, I, can't, I can't do everything, you know. I can't get push forward and protect. He'll fireball here, maybe. No, I'm not even thinking about it. <laughs> Please tell us why you aren't running any power. Horrible, isn't it?
Yeah, but he had he had free runs. I mean, he, he maybe he thought about it for a few seconds because this is the best time to use the fireball because I'm under pressure to move it to score, aren't I? So this is the thing. It's pretty safe. He'll stop me, yeah, Stotty. But he won't. This is the best time to turn me over when I'm trying to, you know, when I'm trying to push in four turns to score, five turns to score, rather than eight. If I've got eight turns, it's it's a lot harder for him to to force a chance to use the wizard. Whereas uh, now, I've got to commit heavily to try and score if I want to try a score, which is going to give him a better chance to use the wizard for the turnover, for sure. Yeah, getting out bashed by Dark Elves is good for chaos, isn't it? That's what you need. Maybe he'll wizard next turn. Now that he's men up, surrounding us, got loads of scoring threats. I'm just going to mans him and hope to kill his guy. Hey, man's him and hope to kill his guy. Well, half of the plan worked. I mean, fireball here is just giving him such odds of scoring. And, you know, he's he's favourite to go two and up now. The guards don't matter, Pedro. You can just you can just bolt the corner and then get in and score, or you can fireball and get in and score. He can just do whatever he wants here, really. He he could turn me over so easily right now. I'd go for the turnover to go two nil up to personally. It's a shame I think my foot thing is meant that I'm not going to... I just think I'm going to... Uh... I think this foot thing is mean that I'm not going to qualify now. Because it's just, you know, having to play all these games that I don't want to have, have to play. Forcing myself to play when I should be using the breaths because I just feel like I'm not playing very well. It's not good. Get out bashed is a good idea. Good idea to just get out bashed by Dark Elves. Yeah, this is a loss for sure. Almost certainly, unless unless Spartacle's fucking brain falls out. This is a win for him. From going 13 4 0 to 13 4 2 is pretty shit though, because now it's win 8 lose 3 to. To get to the top, which is isn't so easy, is it? As win eight, lose five. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, remake and make a new Chaos Team. <laughs> oh. I would have gone for the Fireball this turn, or, or the Bolt, and then go for the Recovery, you know, and run away this turn. Because he's he, now I know that he can't use the Wizard next turn. See that that that's the that's the in my opinion the mistake he's made. Because now I know he can't wizard, and he knows that I know that he can't wizard as well. So now I can just go ham because he can't score. Obviously, he's done going to dodge. Two people free. Maybe three if this is the blitz. I guess it has to be. Pretty much has to be a power, though, this blitz. Could one dice him, I guess. Could blitz with him, and then the push is okay. That seems more sensible, doesn't it? Got him. Oh, where's the fucking ball going? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven over here. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. That seems a lame place to stand. And then what, another guy there. Another guy there. One, two, three. Four, five, six, GFI. Yeah, okay then. Oh, there's not a fucking... It's in the wrong square. There's not a fucking thing there. Holy... Oh, no, there is. You can go here. Yeah. And then he goes one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. Yeah. That's where we roll it, I guess. Hey, go for the greed. Oh my god, roll the power. Outrageous. Yeah, the the the, the tackle is getting surfed if he if he bolts. But um, at least using his bolt is alright, isn't it? If he uses his bolt here, I can make it 1-1 with a decent chance of success. If He d he doesn't want to have to bolt here, does he? He might just dodge through to two dice the ball. It's not crazy. I think he should have used it. Yeah, Will King. If he wants to win, though, Fish for Fat, that's what I'm saying. This this half was the better half for him to use the wizard. Because, I, obviously, I've only got five turns to score instead of eight. So this was, a, this was a better chance for me to be stretched, having to put, force it through quickly. 
This is easier, you know, it's just easier this half. He's got more players this half as well, because, you know, you'd imagine next half I'll do some damage with Claw Mighty Blow and stuff. Just going to one-dice the ball. Wow, that's greedy, isn't it? Wow, lucky bastard. That was pretty greedy. I was pretty greedy one dicing here. Holy shit. Could have just gone one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. I guess he didn't think it was worth it. Yeah, and he didn't have the scoring threat. It would have been alright one man all mansing me with a scoring threat, I think. I wish I was the one with a wizard. <laughs> Yeah, two chances at it, yeah, it's true. But it's still a bit greedy though, wasn't it? Like he did school the first one. He had a you know. Ah <laughs> no, I know that Jam Jealous. I know he could go for the one die, so it was just a bit greedy, wasn't it? That was all. I think. But it's worked out well for him, hasn't it? Huge dodge, without without dodge. Not a lot I can do, I guess, with him passing dodges. Yeah, use the rear on the skull, right? So it was a three plus, flat three plus. It was pretty. That was pretty lucky. Um, so I just need a blitz with, for a push, block for a push, then dodge one, two, three, four, five, six, double GFI. Um, can't get anybody in here. Well, maybe I could. Maybe I could uh, block with him. And blitz him off or something, but no, this, this this is the only way I can clear both. Push her, that doesn't matter anyway, does it? Mm. Four, three, four, five, six, seven. So I guess I might as well do this three dice blow. Pretty safe, isn't it? No oh, cars, pretty worth it. You might up all that because it was a perm. Works, all right. Alright, so three three two with a reroll. Just fucking loop pack it, boys. Greed is good. Greed is right. Greed works. See, because now, by not going for that wizard there where it was kind of the I thought, you know, it was the shortest drive for me to score, wasn't it? So I th he was men up as well. The ball was pretty exposed. I think he should have wizarded then and gone 2-0 up. Because now, 
it's 1-1. One, one. Yeah, he can turn me over and make it 2-1, obviously. But then if he does it early, then there's the, there's a crazy chance that I could do something. I think he should have gone 2-0 up. I think he would have gone 2-0 up. Yeah, he was in he was in he was in mega control. Mega control he was, yeah. A fucking huge KO not coming back though, holy shit. But ten versus ten. Right, tackle near the ball. Four players here, don't I? Mm, blitz that agility guy as well. Blitz him, run back. I mean, he can still win two one. Obviously, it's not. It wasn't a horrific play. Yeah, if he just kept screaming, like if he was just trying to keep me out, that was the thing. By by not using the wizard, by not having a scoring threat, or using the wizard that turn, that that was. You know, it's it's hard to call it a mistake, isn't it? But. Um, I feel that gave me too much chance, really. And he still all his players, you know, now he's lost two Agility 5 guys. <laughs> but yeah, it's hard to say he was wrong. I'm not saying he's wrong for playing how he did. Um... I just feel like he was in a good spot to, to use the wizard then. So go forward, he can surf me. Don't make it too easy to come in. That was a pretty good LOS, wasn't it? Just quietly. Yeah, two cars on the LOS. Unbelievably, Lemon is good. Unbelievably, didn't roll Jim Jim Powers. I don't think he has to go for the ball this turn. He could though, obviously. He, could. he can always go for the ball any turn. Like I can't stop him. You know, he's one dice on the ball is never that bad odds for him, is it? Casually Kaz do that Dark Elves, yeah. So now he's down to eight, isn't he? Ten versus eight. There's the guard behind the claw, so hitting with a witch elf isn't that easy for him.
I didn't carry. I didn't carry on purpose. He just caught the kick. Exactly, J five. But now he's now he's gone. Now the AG five dickheads are, are dead at least. Now he's got his scoring threat. So now I can't. Now I can't have derp around. Oh, he just went balls to the wall. Balls to the wall. He didn't care. Could go for a big foul on him. But obviously you've got to be really careful of the wizard now. Fouling a witch elf seems like a fucking great idea. But also blitzing him. So that if he does some bullshit... Hmm. But then I've got time. Time is on my side now, isn't it? Looking at this, the wizard is his only chance at the moment. See if I can make a layered cage. And get the foul in. That would be the best, wouldn't it? I'd really love to get the foul in here. Right, let's see if it loses me the game then, eh? Not this turn. Yeah, I've said that before, kiss a turn. Yeah, well, he's he's not wrong a lot of the time, but I mean, I don't know. I think he could. I think he would have devastated me with the wizard in the first half. I really think he would have done. But can't say he was wrong to not use it. At the end of the day, you just really can't say he was wrong to not use it. It's 
what you get for herb dirt base 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 and piece of shit. See what happens with this one, eh? <laughs> Come on dirty player, do something good with your life. Fucking useless cunt. Oh yeah, I didn't make the bits, did I? Uh -huh. Well, protecting the ball is the most important thing anyway. So it's all right. I made a ground blitz. <laughs> I was saving the blitz in case, uh, you know, in case I uh, had to blitz him and stuff, but. That useless cunt did score last half, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I don't mean any offence to uh, Vin Barlin, but um, <laughs> he did score last half, yeah, and he was pretty good. But yeah, I just wanted to break AV, didn't I? If I break AV there, I can move forward next turn. <sighs> the fucking blodge stepper was a pretty fucking good player to break AV on, especially with the other stun, you know? Three assist, dirty player foul. I don't think he'll use it until late now. I think he'll be saving the whiz till for late. Can three dice him though with a Chaos Warrior, which will free up the tackler, hopefully. So I might be able to get forward next turn. Oh look, it's my sugar daddy, the last frogman. Alright, let's see what happens. Hello, super mega ultra VIP last frogman. Let's uh let's go with a bolt down. Like, obviously, he's begging me to walk away this other side, isn't he? So. Can't get forward this turn. <laughs> I 
Right, please break armor this turn so I can run away the Takawa. Right, good. So that means next turn the tackle is free to uh, blitz one of the witch owls. And the stun there is actually pretty good as well, isn't it, to be fair? So should be able to get forward next turn. Four turns, got to get moving now. You should have really been down to less L's than this. I was, this damage was done on turn one, wasn't it? I haven't done anything for the last three turns. Wow, frenzy trap. And somebody could have blocked. Interesting. Foul this witch elf. So let's go this way. Mm, not so happy about that. Could GFI to complete the cage. Not happy about that either. This is obviously the place to go, but it's a GFI to complete the cage. I guess I've got to do it. Dirty player hasn't been great, but still. Got a couple of key stuns. Stunning the stunning the blood stepper was good. And obviously that jump up guy had to be dealt with. So <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, start yeah, I do suck at falling, yeah. <laughs> I'm no ducky. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I don't think he's forgotten, no, I just think he wants to use it to, to score on the same turn, but I, I think I would have used it first half. Not again, I know I keep saying it, but I, I just think that was would have almost certainly got him up 1-0, 2-0, uh, sorry. Has your opponent forgotten about the wizard? No, I don't think he's had really good chances to use it in the second half, so I think he's going to be using it 
later now. I think he's committed to using it later now. Hold up, peace, peace, peace. Yeah, he, he, he doesn't need the scoring threat though yet, does he? He only needs it when he's going to score. I'd love to be able to dodge away from that. I'd love to blitz the, blitz the runner there and run into that space. It would be amazing, wouldn't it? But, um... Could block him, blitz him, and then come up round here. I guess is what has to happen. One, two, three, four, five. So the bottom corner can be there, so he can go here. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five. In fact, this can be here. And then he can go one, two, three, yep. Yeah. yeah, okay, let's go there. Stop the surf. So he's kind of okay where he is, isn't he, I think? Protects him a bit. Like, obviously getting forward would be nice. But then he's really exposed to getting blocked. I don't know, honestly, Mo, hello, Mo. I don't know what his stats are, but it is Spartaco, so. Yeah. Oh, well. Two TZs is about as good as I could have hoped for if he's going to knock the ball down and get a stun on the killer. Surf and recovery. He was a glorious scatter. I'd much rather he just didn't pal the carrier. <laughs> but yeah, all things considered, it could have been worse, couldn't it? No, I'll try it. Try, well, we'll see what happens here. It's a bit early for that, I think. Let's just see what happens next turn. Lemon is good. He has the thing still have an intact screen. That was the thing, see, that was that's like kinda like the double screen, isn't it? You know, there's the That's what I mean by a layered cage. This is a good example, actually, isn't it, of a layered cage. Because you've got the cage, but then it's also screened. 
So, wow, he gets the one dice. So again, he's been a little bit greedy there, hasn't he, for a bit better payoff, which is which is fair against like a competent coach. He's only got one direction he can push it. Push it. He didn't do it the right one. He's forced himself to make a dodge through tackle now, if he wants to go that way. In my opinion, he pushed the wrong square there. Gets lucky. Guess he'll do the scatter, eh? Yeah. No, bastard. Yeah. <laughs> An unintentional perfect example. No, it wasn't unintentional, but... Uh, no, that was, that was what I was trying to do all the way through it, you know. Got tackle in the right place. He's not even going to make the dodge. No, oh, no, if it goes into the crowd, it could be really bad anyway. Oh, he's just going to pass. If he does the pass, he's won. Well, not if I power him. <laughs> what a god. Pretty annoying, eh? Go on the balls because it might go out of my range. You can just dodge out one dice, pick it up, score. I mean, there's nothing I can do. I've got a foul. I guess I've got to try and protect the 1 0 now. I don't think I can leave a canoring threat. I mean, he's in. These are kind of in range anyway. One, two, three. It's just tough, isn't it? It's too easy for him to just dodge. Or this one dodge through, dodge and GFI one dice. It's just too easy for him to get the ball away and score. So I just need players back. Oh, if only that had happened earlier, right? Yeah, could have made two GFIs. Yeah, maybe that would have been a maybe that would have been a good play. Like I've got the re rolls. I guess I could have made the GFIs. Could have gone there. 
but then might not have broken armor then wouldn't have broken armor then in the foul no I can, yeah I can two dice anyway yeah he couldn't have two diced if I moved even geified once I thought about the GFI once so he couldn't make it two dice he didn't just dodge away dodge through get the ball pow score Ooh. Canals, man. So as it happens, he's timed it absolutely fucking perfectly. And he's got the ball. This gets the stun as well. <laughs> yeah, it was a horrible send-off, yeah. <laughs> Went the wrong way, actually, I think, after picking it up. Because I now I can just free run instead of having to go through this guy. So I think he should have gone the other way. Oh well, does that anyway? No problem. There you go. So lose two one anyway. After all that, hell's in it. Not a lot you can do, wizard. Wizard got the ball, didn't it? I mean, if he hadn't got the ball off the wizard, it'd have been all right. Fifty fifty, wasn't it? There's no other moves to be made, is there? Like, the rest doesn't matter if I fail this. The rest of the moves don't matter. So, let's just go for this, see what happens. So that's why it did, that's why it went that way, because he was relying on making the dodges, which he did. There you go, brilliant. Two losses. Yeah, it was a horrible thing. Yeah. Pretty unlucky. I think, I think on the balance of it, I was pretty unlucky that game because in the end, it all just came down to the wizard and he had to pop the ball and get it and pass it and everything and he made all the goals, didn't he? At the end of the day. Yeah. And I can't play a Burtz, unfortunately. As much as I'd love to have played Burtz after playing Crucifer, I can't because I'm forced to play chaos until uh, the end of time so there you go uh, 15 AV breaks got a lot of AV breaks but there you go I mean I got really lucky to be fair making all the stuns with like random players the fouls were pretty terrible though pickups were good to be fair uh, maybe I should have GFI'd last turn on the last turn there with that movement 7 guy to make it so he could only one dice the ball um but there you go. What can you do, eh? Can I have a frenzy now, anyway, finally. Yep. Got the wrestle frenzy here. And... Get rid of this 20k. But yeah, I didn't have 150 before that match because I could have just bought a wizard. Oh, but then I couldn't have bought a wizard because then he would have just still fucked me. Well, there you go. I can't really complain. It should One of those losses should have been a draw. 200 TV down against Killer Nurgle. And then this was down a wizard to the best coach in Blood Bowl 2 so it wasn't that wasn't that embarrassing but there you go um, thanks for watching if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic <laughs>